My name is Mike Prom with Applied Engineering. So I'm now going to get into some of the conceptual design tools. Um, we're going to open up this platform here. And when you're doing a concept design, we've had a lot of requests for people who, you know, they're just trying to move things around and get an idea of what they want before they actually come in and do all the constraints. Um, in order to place things before, you'd have to constrain things into place. And, you know, that, took, that takes a lot of time if you're just going to come back and delete them and move things around. So what's new to, to uh, 2009 is the ability to come in and actually use a 3D grip tool to move different components around. So, I have that 3D grip tool I had mentioned. And I just need to select the component I'd like to move. Where I'd like to move it. Um, just like if I was actually creating this utilizing utilizing my uh, constraints, it, it snaps them into place um, using tangent, uh, cylindrical constraints, and also face-to-face. -face. So it would just be like I'd be how I'd be normally constraining this. However, it's just a, a grip snap, so it's a temporary So you can see I was able to move this into place without actually coming in with any constraints. Um, now that I have this done, you know, if I decided I didn't want it to be there, I can move it to a different section. I can still come in and grab and move it out of the way. So the grips tool it, it utilizes all the functionality of constraints, but you're not actually constraining it into place. 